Hi crafters, Simply Pam, and today I'm going to be making a um, baby card, and I'm using the My Pink Stampers new stamp set called Sweet Baby, and I just love the sayings and the fonts on this cartridge, it is so cute. Um, what I'm going to be doing, this is the giraffe from the Sugar and Spice light cartridge, and I cut it at three and a half inches, and I'm not going to be using the little cheek cutout or the eyes or the nose, because I'm going to be stamping them on myself. And um, to put this together, this is Hibiscus Burst, and this is Sweet Blush from Paper Tree Ink. I wish this um, Sweet Blush just had a titch more pink into it. I think it's just a little bit too pale, but it'll work. So um, before I put this on, I'm going to emboss this one with, um, so we have it here. with the um, Seeing Spots um, Cuddle Bug embossing, embossing Folder. Put this out of the way. I just love these fat circles. It's so perfect for, for almost any card, actually. I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down on top of the Sweet Blush. So this is an A2 size card. What it is is an 8.5 by 11 cardstock cut in half. So this is 5.5 by 8.5 and, and then you fold it over. It's 5.5 by 4.25. And, and then I always do a frame on mine unless I'm doing weird different kinds of layering. Um, so this is the, the sweet blush is um, 4 by 5.25 and, and then my white cardstock is um, 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. And then I'm going to use um, Hibiscus Burst Polka Dot since I'm going to stick with the Polka Dot theme since my little giraffe has some Polka Dots on them. On her, I should say. And this ribbon is from Paper Tray Ink as well. It matches the cardstock perfectly. I'm just going to put this on with some regular tape. And then I'm going to glue this down on this cardstock. Okay, for the message, or I'm going to hold off on the message for now. Um, I'm going to stamp the mouth and the eye onto uh, my little giraffe. And I'm using two separate stamp sets from um, Peachy Keen Stamps. I'm going to be using um, the Critter Faces Set A Extra Large for the mouth, which is, I'm using this stamp set and I'm just going to hide the eye, so I'm just going to be using the mouth. And the other one I'm using is the Just Baby Faces assortment. And I'm using, which one I'm using here? This one right here, and all I'm using, I'm going to hide this whole section right here and use the eye. That's all I'm using is that one eye. I just like the, the bigness of the eye because I think it has an innocent baby look to it. It's really cute. So that's what I'm going to be um, working on here. And I'm just using tape to cover up the, the parts that I don't want to be um, stamped on. So I'm going to make sure you choose the right eyeball here. So this one. So I'm hiding this part. Okay. 
you put it in the ink, ink it all up, and then you take the tape off. This will waste a little um, tape if you're doing multiples. So, and then just put it down. And then for the mouth, the same process. Just covering up the eye completely. And just doing the mouth. That's it. So, and then I'm going to color in the eye with, um, this is a Jelly Roll Medium Sakura white pen. And I'm just going to um, go on the back just to make sure that the ink is moving since that part's not going to be seen. And then just coloring in the part that should be white. Very cute. This out of the way. So I'm going to glue this down with some uh, pop dots. And then for the saying, I'm using, um, like I said, her Sweet Baby um, stamp set. And I'm using the Bundle of Joy, and it actually goes like this. And I just cut it in half. I'm just going to try and line these up as best as I can. I love the font on this stamp set. I just think it's so cute. Especially on this little saying. I think it's adorable. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this down. Onto this scallop circle. Now I use the um, 1 and 3 8 circle punch from Stampin' Up! And I also used their scallop circle punch from Stampin' Up. That's how I made this. You can easily do this on your Cricut. I just had this on hand and um, so I used it. So I'm just going to put little circle dots in the middle of each kind of petal. And then pop dot this up. This right here right down here. I think it balances out pretty good. I should move this up a little bit so I can have that down, but so this is up a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. So this is the card, and I made a boy version of this as well. And uh, just so you can kind of see that this is a, this cut is from a girl's baby cut, a uh, baby cartridge. So I just want to show, show you that you can make it into a boy for a boy as well. Um, so this is my two cards. Um, it's really I wanted to make it really simple because I had to make quite a few of these. Um, so and that's why I didn't really go into too much detail on it. But um, I really like it. I think it turned out really cute. So thanks so much for watching. Head over to my blog, simply-pam.blogspot.com for more information on these projects and to see my other projects that I've done. Thanks. Bye.